Hello everyone and welcome to this short overview guide uh, that I wanted to put together to give you how you can try and get the best out of a Selenium training program. The intent of this short video is to let you know about our video tutorials, the live training that we do and the live projects. Additionally, how you can access the files that we use or create during this project works the list of interview questions and how you can access them the reference documents and also the technical help in the forum that will help you get through any kind of an issue once you have joined the program and once you start watching the videos and practice on them at the end of the day the intent of this specific short video is to help you get started quickly and make the best use of our program so to do that uh, I first will start with our homepage, IT Learn, which uh, will be going through a change in a coming near uh, few days. However, at that time, I will recreate this video so that you get this uh, updated information. Now, on this training program, the first thing you need to do is from online courses, you will be visiting the Selenium training videos page. Once you visit this page, you will see that there are many tutorials present out here and it can typically confuse the users. What every user should note is that there are two types of video tutorials. The first type of video tutorials is something called as uh, topic based tutorials and that's out here in the first link. So if you click on the Selenium training videos, which is the 59 videos, a collection of over 42 hours, you will notice that the videos have been stored as a project by project basis only on specific topics team. They have been cut from different projects and they've been put together as topics. Now you have to make sure that you understand which topic you're selecting and each topic will talk about certain concepts that have been taken from different video tutorials and put here. For example, if you're interested to know how a JUnit program works or how to install Eclipse or how to work with AND, then chapter two has it. How about core Java and the basics of some of the Selenium data driven framework or web driver and so on. All of these topics have been put together for you to access them as and when. Let's say you get into a project and you suddenly need to start looking at how to do database testing using Selenium. Then you pick up that topic or you want to use and for your continuous integration using for the build and so on. Then you use the chapter 11 and for Maven or SVN you use chapter 14. This gives you each and every topic based on the specific uh, concept that you want to learn. It has been taken from various tutorials that I've done over the past few years and it'll take you through that. Now, once you're going through such kind of uh, information, you will notice that some of these applications have been done uh, previously, maybe a couple of years old or three years old. Irrelevant of the application, the intent is for you to try and focus on the concept and get to it. If you are someone who's starting to learn Selenium in a very, from a very scratch level, what I would recommend to you is not go through these chapters, which are topic based, but look at any of these fast track programs. The fast track programs are very interesting team. What I do is I take three or four practical projects and while doing these projects, which are typically between four to eight sessions each, I will also explain different concepts. So they go through a flow on concepts, on how you do it in a real-time project. So you do not have to worry about learning uh, it more in a theoretic fashion. This is gonna be a project-based approach. So for example, if I look at, uh, let's say Fast Track 5. In here, you will note that there are many uh, uh, separate projects that have been created. For example, the free videos, which is part of the project one. Then there's a project two, three, four and five six seven there are about seven projects that have been put in here team each project serves a specific purpose now let's say for example i go to selenium project three in here you will notice that we are talking about a data driven framework and how you build a data driven from scratch 
once you have logged in using your credentials and you see a WordPress uh, admin bar on top with your name and so on, you will note that you'll be able to access them. If you're not a premium member, then you don't get to access these videos. And for each of them, you start looking at one video at a time and play it like a movie. You do not try and do things like, you know, uh, pause, rewind, forward and so on. The first fast track you take, any fast track, just play them as a movie. Just keep a notebook on the side and take notes. Because what happens is you will get the concepts cleared. Do not try and practice with your first training batch, with the first training fast track. Just try and watch the videos. Once you watch the videos, you'll get an overview idea. Then you take another fast track from the collection of tutorials we have. And this time you try and play the videos and try and practice parallelly with it. This is how in a twofold manner you really become experts at this tutorial. All right. Now, once you've done that and you get into a project and you want to focus on specific uh, topics, then you go back to the Selenium training videos and take it topic based. So you understand team once again take one fast track watch it as a movie end to end do not try and pause rewind or forward or anything just keep playing one video after the other take the best out of it just take notes on a simple notepad on the side and then come back to another fast track very simple let's say you do fast track six for just viewing it for the first time on the second round go to fast track five and try and do it using while practicing on on the side parallelly this will really make you uh, get build your confidence build your hands-on expertise and it will try and give you that entire layout that is required for you to kickstart your career in selenium when you are done with the live training tutorials like this uh, sorry video tutorials you have an option to enroll or upgrade to the upcoming live trainings so if you go under events and you look at the latest events that we have you will notice that for example now we have a 15 september session an orientation session for the upcoming selenium training so you could see those tutorials and join 90 percent of the students who come to it learn and try and take training from us are very happy with the videos by themselves because they're self-explanatory uh, and they go in a very structured flow and that is sufficient once you join the live most intent most probably the intent of the students is to uh, stay with a specific schedule to learn things rather than uh, they having to go about saying that okay today i'll spend five hours tomorrow else i can't spend any time and so on with the live training the biggest advantage is we go through a schedule of about three to four weeks and you stick with that schedule when I do this 15th September batch, that will become another fast track and will get added here. So for the next one year for just the Selenium subscribers or three years for the Selenium uh, for the master of software testing program, you will have access to whatever is coming up and the video tutorials are always available for you. That's the live training and the video tutorials. Now coming to the live project, it is a little different. Once you have finished your, with your live training, or your video tutorials, then you have the option to upgrade to a live project. Live projects are highly interactive. Here is where you are placed into one team of about 10 people working globally from different remote locations, and you are given a project, an assignment. We walk you through what you do in that, how you perform on it, and once you get used to the whole idea, you start so team, working uh, on the project. Welcome to the Selenium. One second. This is uh, getting autoplay right now from one of these videos. I'm going to pause it. Okay, there you go. Now, so there are multiple projects that we have done on this, and uh, what you should do is you should participate for this in a live manner. This is very interactive. This is more about you presenting it back to us rather than me training you all about how to do. Once you come back, show us how you're doing a project, and you present it. It is almost like going to an interview. And the good thing here is since it's a still a training ground, we get to give you feedback on what you've done right, what are the areas that you can improve, not only on the project work, but also on the overall deliverability. Your communications, your presentation, your assessment of how you're looking at things and so on. That gives a complete overall picture of the whole program in a very detailed manner. 
once you go to the live project your confidence builds uh, significantly now if someone has got a job right after the training and then they can go and try and do it on their own live project the real time project that they're working on apart from this team for every video batch or every fast track for example the april 28 2014 batch i do typically about 2 to 3 batches every year and that gives you the idea of how things go so for every batch we call this as chapters or projects and you have the option to download the files that are linked to it and also report any issue when you watch a video let us say the audio and video is not in sync or the video is not accessible or you get some kind of an error message any issue that you have you can report an issue to us and tell us that hey i have a challenge here and now let's say if it's a technical issue for technical issues we have our forum that's our technical support that's our uh, zone where all the participants come together and discuss about how they're going through the training what they're doing where they're stuck we have a dedicated technical help desk which supports this uh, almost so typical response time is one uh, 24 hours for any response but even before a technical team responds you will notice that the responses come automatically from the other participants now in this case if you look at the top two courses that i've been doing are on qtp and selenium for selenium we have almost about 716 topics of discussions there are about 2000 plus posts and everything right from a technical aspect be it when they're working on the project or watching videos and so on or practicing at home they put it up here and they get answered so once you log into the selenium automation forum only a member has the right to post and ask a question any other visitor is able to just view uh, any posts and responses for example the the recent one they're talking about read and write in xml using data driven framework there are about four posts i'm sure the technical help was the last post that they've helped on um, or any kind of an issue let's say null pointer exception or you're not able to install a specific tool uh, error messages in eclipse all of this are there so it is a complete learning solution that you have uh, that you should use very actively the more you try and involve into the system the more you try and immerse yourself that is how you get the best out of it we started this early 2014 uh, and since then since the last one and a half year we've got about 6700 members registering onto it these are our premium members so there's a high volume of uh, users watching the videos learning from our system and interacting with each other using the forum and so on right now what you should look at is how you get started with first fast track then you can look at if you want to upgrade to a live training and so on and then you also have the technical forum that is supporting you on the back end i've also spoken to you about how you can download the files i've also shown you how you can get technical support now apart from that there is one thing that typically most of the uh, students miss out and that's the selenium interview questions this is a very interesting thing that everyone should note in. while you're going through this training program you want to assess for yourself how is it that you're performing so we have put together a very interactive quiz that lets you uh, look at different options or different uh, questions and see how you are performing on them so just giving a sample example of interview questions uh, quiz 7 in this they're talking about web driver overview and you start the test and a question gets asked and you say any of the above it says correct all right then you move on to the next question and i randomly don't even want to look at the question and put something out here and it may say oh i'm <laughs> even my random answers are being correct right now <laughs> uh, so let's see what this does this is a wrong answer all right luckily now i'm third time unlucky <laughs> typically we try and be third time lucky but third time unlucky that's fine so i wanted to show you how a wrong answer comes then the user is given another option to try another answer and another answer now what happens is as they keep doing it they get partial credits for their answer and the score gets updated so they continue each set of about 10 to 20 questions of each set and once they do it they get to know what they've done well what they've not and any wrong answer they give they keep answering it till they get the right answer that also gives them the ability to see uh, why it is right how it is right apart from this team we also have a technical 
so this is since we are middle of the test it is giving us a warning saying that hey do you want to really leave it in the technical forum we have put together a session every uh, saturday morning uh, us time so that way you are able to interact directly on a one to one webinar in a live environment using our code to meeting and you are having the ability to try and focus on the any questions that you particularly have my technical help desk team will be available and they will get to you any issues that are beyond you can always try and set up a time with my technical help desk and they will log into your machine look at your system remotely and see what the issue is and try and resolve it so the idea of this whole tutorial team that i've given is to is to say that we have amazing tutorials we have put together them into different components and so on i do agree that it's not the easiest flow as of now we are working very hard with a new version that will come out soon uh, in about a month or month and a half we are looking at early october to get that in place where you'll have a very easy learning management system uh, till then this video should guide you i also want to say where are what how you can play around with each of these things as you join the premium membership you'll also get the welcome pack and the welcome pack will give you the list of the documentation and everything that will tell you where to watch what where are the documentation how to download uh, any kind of a technical references that you need and so on all that information comes to you the after you join within 24 hours typically team to get used to this layout will take you about 5 to 10 hours so if you spend let's say an hour a day in trying to log into itl and watch your tutorials give yourself about a week to really get into the system the the beauty of our training program is really not in the flow right now which i agree which we will be improving going forward however the beauty is in the content and the way we have delivered the lectures and that is what will inspire you that is what will make you a star and master at selenium so i sincerely wish you all the best we are here to take care of you and we want to make sure that your learning is paramount in terms of our priority we just want you to get started and interact with us once we get through each and every session you will see how your knowledge and skill is improving mainly your confidence and hands on expertise thank you so much for listening to this tutorial and i wish you all the best bye now everyone